Hello, my name is Roland Walter. Hello, my name is Roland Walter. I work in the maintenance department here at the Rothaus Brewery. I'd like to show you how to check various pieces of equipment using the Testo 870 thermal imager. Here I'm checking the function of a steam trap. The steam trap is absolutely okay. If it wasn't okay, it would be just as warm on the right as it is on the left. That's why you can immediately see that there is no loss of steam. Here I'm checking a switching cabinet for defective components. Here you can see a very hot contactor. It has a temperature of over 80 degrees Celsius. The contactor urgently needs replacing before it fails completely and to eliminate the danger of fire. Here I'm checking a pump in the brew house. You can see clearly that one of the bearings is running very warm. This bearing, you can see it here, needs to be replaced soon so the pump can stay in operation. Here I'm checking a switching cabinet in the bottle cellar. Here too you can see a defective contactor. For preventive maintenance reasons we need to replace it soon so the plant can continue working without interruption. Hello, my name is Frank Hu and I'm a facility manager at Testo AG. Today I'd like to show you how I use the thermal image at Testo 870 to check important plants at our company headquarters. Here I'm checking the compressor on an air conditioning plant. In order to ensure that the computer rooms are well cooled and that the temperature in the compressor doesn't exceed 52 degrees Celsius. I'm using the thermal imager to check the flow through the heat exchanger to ensure that the waste heat from the compressor is being fed into our pipe system. In the switching cabinets for our ventilation system, I'm checking the electrical components for temperature anomalies to make sure the ventilation system runs smoothly. I'm now checking our ceiling radiators, which provide heat in the winter and cooling in the summer, so that our production rooms have the right temperature. And here I'm checking the temperature on our recooling plant. If the temperature doesn't exceed 40 degrees Celsius, the air conditioning system's operational security is guaranteed. Once a week, I use the imager to check the pump motor and bearings of our sprinkler system. Hello, my name is Miro Lippmann. Hello, my name is Miro Lippmann, and I'm a building contractor from Freiburg. I'm mainly concerned with the thermal restoration of old buildings, and today I'd like to show you how my thermal imager Testo 870 helps me with it. Because of their shape, the corners of badly insulated houses are always cold bridges and can only be remedied by installing exterior insulation.
As expected, we have a cold bridge here in the radiator recess. We can see this clearly from the fact that the cold air is entering through the joints in the wooden panelling. But we can deal with this quite easily by installing aluminium laminated PU insulation, which quickly gives us a considerable improvement of the insulation value. In buildings of this age, of course, the concrete components which are integrated into the brickwork and are in contact with the outer wall always represent a cold bridge. We can only remedy these by installing exterior insulation. We can see a cold bridge here in the region of the window frame. This has to do with the way the window is embedded in the brickwork. This definitely needs to be checked. You can clearly see that the outside cellar door we have here doesn't seal properly. This of course means an increased heat loss, and in this case, I would recommend replacing the door. Here we can again see the thinner walls around the radiator recess and the heat loss they are causing. Apart from this, we also have windows which are in need of restoration and should be replaced. Using my thermal imager, I have been able to identify the weak spots in the building quickly and easily, and I can now make a realistic quote for my customer's thermal restoration work. Hello, I'm Christian Vanguard from Lassen Plumbing and Heating. I've been working in our family business for 30 years. Today I'd like to show you how I can use the thermal image of Testo 870 to make my daily job easier. A damp spot has developed after renovation of the bathroom. The surface of the wall is distorted. We're now on the other side of the wall. The pressure test has shown that the leak must be in the hot water pipe. During the renovation, the bathroom was re-tiled without replacing the pipes. Here we can see exactly where the pipe runs, so the wall only needs to be opened where the pipe is in order to carry out the repair. The customer would like to enlarge the shower cabin. We have underfloor heating right in front of it. You can clearly see here that the underfloor heating runs directly along the edge of the shower cabin. That means that to enlarge the shower cabin, you'd need to make changes to the floor and the underfloor heating. The customer has complained that his radiator isn't heating through properly. And I'm now checking the flow and return temperature. And you can clearly see that the temperature difference between flow and return is 20 degrees Celsius. At the present outdoor temperatures, however, it shouldn't be more than 5 to 10 degrees. This means that the hydraulic balancing in the house is incorrect and needs to be looked at. Here is a solar water heating system. 
These are tube collectors, and using the thermal imager, you can very quickly check whether they are all in working order. We can see that the outermost tube is defective and needs replacing. As you've seen, the Thermal Imager Testo 870 provides a very quick way of finding faults and identifying energy losses. This increases my employees' productivity and helps us to provide our customers with competent advice.